So in this video I want to talk about the different ways that you can generate colors with CSS. So there's actually seven different ways that you can generate a color. I'm going to use this uh, very simple web page here and I'm going to set different colors for backgrounds and text color on a bunch of different elements just to demonstrate. So uh, first way, six digit hex colors. So we can there we are, or let's make it something a little bit different. There we go. This is the six digit hex color. So we've got two digits for red, two for green, two for blue. And these are written in hexadecimal. They can be uppercase or lowercase, as long as there are six of them. Now there is also a three digit version of this. So for the background for the header up here, I'm going to use a different one. So we'll say, um, CC5599. Okay, there's the six, six digit version. Now, the three digit version of this is if we just take one away from each. If you only have the three, then every digit would be counted twice. So nine would be nine nine. Five is five five. C is CC. So that's the six digit and the three digit hex. There's also named colors we can do something like that. There's, oh geez, I forget. There used to be 127 name colors. I think the list is up uh, over 200 now, but there are lots of named colors. So this represents a specific color value. Next, RGB. So this is a, a method in CSS, red, green, and blue, but instead of putting it in hexadecimal, we put it in decimal. So each number of the three is a value from 0 to 255. So 0, anything in between, and then 255. There we go. Isn't that beautiful to look at? Okay, so that's RGB. There's also an RGBA, which if you take these three like this works the same as RGB, but then there's a fourth value, which is the alpha. So what is the degree of alpha, the degree of transparency? And you can see as I reduce this, it's a percentage. So, you know, you can put in any decimal value that you want. Anything from zero to one, zero is zero percent, one is a hundred percent. So as I reduce these, you can see it's getting fainter and fainter because I'm increasing the amount of alpha in there. So it's letting a little bit of the background color show through. So that's on all three of my paragraphs. Now for the first paragraph, I'm going to use HSL. HSL stands for Hue, Saturation, and Lightness. The hue is a number from 0 to 360 or 0 to 359. So imagine a color wheel. And on the color wheel at the top, you've got 0 degrees. That would be red. And then as you move around the color wheel clockwise, you go from red through orange through yellow uh, into green, into blue, into purple, into indigo, violet, and back up to red. So it's a color wheel. So if I go zero, that's going to be red. Then there's two values. Saturation is the amount of gray. If I said 100%, um, it's going to be 100% gray. And then uh, sorry, saturation, the <laughs> not the amount of gray, 100% um, red. If I go down to zero, it's going to have zero of the color, which means it's down to gray. And then lightness, if we go up to 100%, we're going to have pure white. There it is. So it's very, very faint on here. That's white. Um, any, any color, any hue at all, if you've got 100% saturation, or 0% saturation, and you put 100% lightness, you've got white, basically. Uh, if I go down to 50%, there we go, we can see it much more clearly. So 50% of the color, 50% saturated, 50% of the lightness, there we go, that's, the, uh, that's red. And as we reduce this, so you can see some of the red is gone, we're down to 10%. Very little of the red left. It's down gray now. So let's put this back up to 50%. And 
we'll go around the color wheel. So we go to 90 degrees. There we've got green. If I come back up to 60 degrees, there's sort of my yellow color. If we jump up to 120, there's bright green. Go to 180. We're into teal. If I go to, let's say, 220. There we go. We're a little bit past the blue, starting to get into the purple. There's blue. Go up to 300. We're in the purple. So, hue, saturation, lightness. If we drop this down to 10%, there it's very, very, very dark, nearing black. If we get to zero, we're talking about black, basically. Okay, so hue, the color wheel, saturation, lightness. And then, just like RGB, there's an HSLA, so we can talk about the degree of alpha. So 50%, 60%, so it's the same as this first one. And then we can talk about changing the alpha. So with 30% opacity here, you can compare these two colors. And that's it. Those are all the different ways that you can add colors into your CSS. Six digit hex, three digit hex, named colors, RGB, RGBA, HSL, and HSLA. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.